Just as a quick disclaimer before I get started with this video is that I do currently have a cold, so I do apologize if my voice sounds weird. Everyone remembers back when iOS switched from a skeuomorphic design or a more realistic looking design to the real world to basically this flat little flat looking modern design that we still partially have today in iOS 7. Mac OS took a little while longer to do that though as they did switch to it in 2014, a year later with the introduction of then called OS 10. 10 Yosemite. So how is it now that it's 10 years old? Well, let's take a look at it. So, but it has a lot of interesting quirks about it, such as the fact that this has a skeuomorphic beach ball instead of the flat one, which was later removed. Or actually, let's go into GarageBand now, because this will be for a perfect example to show that GarageBand is actually still pretty skeuomorphic in this version of Mac OS. Which is really, like, as you can tell, look at the, this box. Look at this UI, like this is still very skeuomorphic. And then like, let's go empty project and then we'll like show the beach ball. And as you can tell, like, it's just really cool to see. And this was interestingly, the only version of macOS to have Helvetica's main font as the previous macOS versions had Apple's older macOS font that I don't remember what it's called, but I'll put the title, the name of that font right up here. For OS X 10.11 El Capitan and later uses San Francisco font that all of Apple's operating systems use today. And so this macOS version kind of looks more like iOS 8 and it looks very stunning because this reminds me of back when I was really first starting to get into Apple products back in iOS 8. And this is just, this is just such a nostalgic macOS to look back at as I have this on a 2014 MacBook Air which is one of the best Macs you can get on. And I just love these wallpapers since they look so playable in nature. Like it just looks like Apple in this era is just really focused on just sleekness and thinness and just, just making everything look kind of unique in its own way, simple in its own way. And I really miss that about Apple today since they don't necessarily seem to want it to make everything simple, but that's just my own opinion. But uh, can you still use Mac OS X Yosemite today? Well, from a practicality standpoint, not really, just because, I mean, most third-party apps don't even support it. And the latest Chrome version for it is from 2021. Safari, I don't think, has been updated for Yosemite since 2017. So these web browsers, I mean, they still work, but they're still relatively out of date. Like, as you can tell, like, I mean, I can go to YouTube.com. Load up my own channel. Play my latest YouTube video. Hang on, let me let these ads play. I'm ironically making money off of them. As you can tell, it'll still play just fine, but I mean, we don't know how long this is going to last because web browsers have a tendency to get outdated relatively quickly. And another thing that I miss about this era of macOS is just the fact this is this was present in macOS US and through Catalina, but I just miss how each icon has their own unique identity because I think that looks a lot better on macOS. I like the round, the, the squircle design of the icons on iOS really well, but I just prefer this design of icons on macOS, and I really hate how macOS Big Sur and Up just kind of got rid of them. And another thing I hate is that if I open up something that takes up the full web browser, like I can, like I can expand, I can expand Safari so that way it can take up basically every corner of the, of the operating system, but I can't fully do that without full screen apps, which is pretty terrible on macOS. And macOS Big Sur and Higher, which really, really annoys me. Well, Apple. How about you maybe stop focusing on your artificial intelligence and start focusing on actual intelligence, like fixing macOS design? But that is just me rambling at this point. So as always, thank you all for watching this video. I'm the iTunes Fanboy, and as always, peace out.